we're going to be putting a radio to my Kia Sorento 2019. We're going to need the cover. Uh, in, that's for the wheel controller in case you use a different radio. The harness the, for the aftermarket radio. And the antenna. So that's the unit. I bought it. That's a Chinese version. It's a 12.8 screen. I will leave the link in the description if you want, if you decide to get one of those. That's the screen. You had a double dim radio base. Yeah, and try to get it out, but we we one hand is stuff. And the the cables came with the units. We had the GPS antenna and punchy cable. So when I was removing the 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 original radio. Uh, the phone didn't record for some reason. I just prime and pull out the 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 cover. We're gonna use the plastic ones. It snap in place, and that will and that gonna give us the double dim size for the radio. So. In the Kia Sorento 2019, we had to cut that piece, and also we need to cut that metal in there. So here, gonna strip all the wires, so I can put it together. So you're gonna be doing it to every single one of them. I did cut the end of that harness that's the one come with the radio but because the other harness for the aver for the aftermarket doesn't have the plugs in the back so I cut it so I can uh, put it together So you're gonna do for every single one basically the yellows you're gonna put with the yellow red with red all the blacks going together except the one uh, for the harness the one go to the car it says uh, ground read uh, no re camera ground so that one gonna go in different place i'm gonna show you at the end and um, it says camera six volt power so that one goes separate too so that this one so that doesn't go to the uh to the red so you put red with red but leave the six six volt power out because we're gonna use uh, a converter we had to bring from 12 to 6 ball because the, the original camera from the car is 6 ball so we we'll put the heat shrink so we're going to do that for every single wire So we're in the car, so we put all the cables together. Yeah. 
it looks scary that's fine <laughs> I'm gonna put the diagram on the back so you guys can follow up so this is the um, the converter I was talking about so you're gonna use the ground the black wire that says uh, camera ground you're gonna put it with the yellow one that's the output and the red one for the six ball for the red one that's gonna be the output for the six ball <coughs> and the other end you're just gonna put with the red and the black and the video you're gonna use the yellow RIC with the camera that's it for the camera signal A steering wheel control that's the wheel a steering wheel control you're gonna put it together with the key one so I'm gonna cut it and put it together I'm not using that plug because that is uh, Chinese and I'm going to use the setting that came with the unit. That's pretty much it. So for the reverse, I went to the reverse positive and run the wire through the car. I brought it down through here. I put it through the panel to the other side running it down and bring it to the front where the radio is so that we're going to connect it to the reverse with the reverse wire so I got it already connected let's turn it on it looks great, I love it. The video. Is and I already have con the controller set up. I'm going to show you where you go to setting it up. the radio so the pink wire is a parking in so you're going to attach to the um, the radio itself so they can make a ground and allow you to watch videos so I already give the internet through my phone so you can go to YouTube The parking, it worked great, like you see. You can close all the application running at the background. For GPS, I have the Google Map. Um, this one is a site. I call it um, Sigic. That one is for offline, and I use Google Map for online. So I was trying it. That's where. I it's what it's got the, the road already so let's cancel let's cancel that road so
so if you want to use online just press navigation and the default is Google So here's the setting for the steering wheel. You go settings, go to steering wheel, and you have all the options in there. So what you do, let's say you press volume up, and then go to the steering wheel, press, and that re register. So then you press check mark and you save it. So you do that with every single one and you're good to go have a few more settings there if you in case you want to go play with them it's great I love it also you can turn it let's see <coughs> sorry you can use it this way if you prefer go to the apps I basically much it you got play store you can download apps games whatever you want that's pretty much give me a thumbs up a like and I hope you enjoy so this is on diagrams came with the radio, the parts, <coughs> and this one I put it together for you guys. That's what I did. Uh, if you see on the top, the top square here, there you got the aftermarket radio harness. That's the part number I use, and on the right is the hay unit wiring. Like you see on the bottom here, with the with the wires. <coughs> I cut it off so I can put it together with the aftermarket radio harness so just follow the pattern uh, you know what I did yellow with yellow red with red all the blacks together so a little bit down you're gonna see the converter from 12 to 6 volt so in the output you're gonna connect it with the six ball camera power and the yellow one you're gonna connect it with the camera ground the black and in the input just use the red and black so then you use the RCA connector for the camera because I'm not using the ASWC1 so I use the green white wire for that connector and connect it with the key one. If you're gonna use the ASWC one, if you have one of the radios in that table over here in the bottom left, so then you're gonna use you go to the website and follow the instruction for that connection. Otherwise just follow the diagram I put together so for the reverse I just like you see in the video I run the cable through the back I connect it to the positive for the uh, reverse light and the pink one I connected to the chassis of the radio 
and that pretty much it just any question just leave a comment i'm going to try to uh answer as soon as i can